I'm here with Dr. Richard Ben Simone, Director of Plastic Surgery at Pearl Women's Center. Welcome, Doctor. It's great to have you here. Now, for most of us, it really seems like our face is the first place to show the effects of age. Why is that? I have to ask. The reason is uh, is that the internal structures of the face with time sag and relax and, and drop down the face and, and gather and, and give a different contour. The net effect of this is a, a loss of richness and vibrancy of youth and this is perfectly obvious to the eye that we see irregularities in the face that weren't there in youth and these are the issues that we strive to correct by doing surgical procedures such as a facelift. Is there anything you can do as you're going forward through your 20s to try and retain some of that elasticity, or is that just our fate as human beings? Part of it is, of course, genetics, but uh, the obvious things are not to smoke and stay out of the sun. And I, but I, I, inevitably, there are always changes due to gravity and time on everyone. Are there different kinds of facelifts? Yes, there are, and uh, this is a little bit confusing because there are many procedures, different techniques that all carry the name facelift, and this is very confusing to the public. The typical facelift that is made fun of is a what we call a skin-only facelift in which the skin is pulled back, it's the, the vehicle of correction, and this is not the problem, and this is not the way to solve it. The change that happens with aging is internal. The internal structures change. The skin is only the cover that comes with it. And if one pulls on the skin, you're camouflaging and not correcting the root cause of the aging changes that you want to correct. This is why those facelifts, number one, don't last, and they look very unnatural. You pull the skin taut, the face is straightened, you lose the natural curvature of the face, and this is obvious to the eye, to anyone, this is unnatural. This is the type of result you want to avoid. In, in my opinion, the way to get a long-lasting, natural-looking result is to elevate the internal structures, the things that have actually changed, elevate them aggressively, and in essence, turn, turn back time. You're, you're reversing aging by putting back these structures where they belong. The skin just follows passively without tension. And most important, you don't lose that natural curvature of the face. This is a very solid correction that lasts a long time and just looks right. It is not obvious and, and gives the result you're looking for. 